Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be on this look right here. It's a very simple, very easy, very quick, everyday makeup look. So if you're interested in seeing how to get this, then just keep on watching. So starting off, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I've actually really been enjoying this for a shadow primer. So that is what I'm going to be using today. It's going to give us a nice base to work from. Then I'm just going to set that with any matte flesh tone powder you have, whether that's a face powder or an eyeshadow, it doesn't matter. You just need to set it. Then I'm going into my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I'm taking this uh, kind of like taupey shade in the palette. I'm going to start to buff this in my crease area and start to build our shape. So with this one, I'm slowly just starting to build the shape and again, I'm layering this so it doesn't get too messy too quickly. Moving on to a little bit deeper, same like shade range in the palette and I'm popping this on my outer V and crease area and I'm slowly starting to build this with a little bit more concentrated um, blending brush and like I said, I'm slowly starting to build this. We're keeping it really simple because I'm only doing four shadows on the lid. So um, moving on to my Morphe uh, 35OS palette, I'm taking this peachy shade and I'm popping this from uh, my tear duct to about three quarters of the way across my lid and kind of blending it into where it meets my outer V area. And then I'm popping this really pretty like champagne-y slate peach toned shade and I'm popping this in my tear duct area just to brighten our eyes a little bit. Again, this is more of a daytime look so we're doing things to create a bigger eye shape and more of a pop with our actual eyes. Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible automatic eyeliner pencil and I'm lining my tight line and my water light. And then for uh, my wings today I'm using my H2O proof liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. You guys know this is my go-to and my absolute favorite eyeliner. So I feel like I don't even need to put it in videos anymore because you guys know I'm always going to use this. <laughs> Then for lashes today, I'm using my uh, Jasmine Brown lashes from Allure, and these are some of my favorite lashes. You guys definitely need to try them if you have not already. And then while those are getting tacky, I'm putting a quick coat of mascara on my top lashes, and I like the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Waterproof Mascara for that. Just because it doesn't flake under my eyes, and it just helps the lashes blend together. Then I'm just going to pop the lashes on while the mascara is still tacky. And then onto my face, I'm using that same um, concealer that we used to prime our eyelids as my concealer today. And I'm skipping foundation for today. We're keeping it very simple. Like I said, this is an everyday look. This is not something that I'm going to put a ton of makeup on for. So I'm just popping this under my uh, eye area to cover up any dark circles and then over any blemishes that I have. I'm really impressed with the staying power of this concealer as well as its matchability to my skin so I don't feel like it gives a weird tone which is surprising considering how pale I am and then to set that I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay powder and I'm just packing this on the areas we had concealer and then for blush today I'm using one of my Milani baked blushes and we're just doing blush so I'm not using bronzer or anything so we're really gonna start to build this on our cheek area and kind of a little bit in the hollows of our cheeks because I want this to be a very like flushed very natural healthy skin look and I'm also gonna put it on my nose because I want to bring a little bit more color to that area of my skin and then I'm using a highlighter from e.l.f. and I can't remember the name of this one either I believe it's rose um, and I'm popping this on my cheekbones my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my brow bone.
Then moving on to my lower lash line, I'm taking that color that we use in our outer V area and I'm just buffing this underneath my lashes. Um, and I'm using kind of a flat smudging brush for this. And then I'm going into our transition shade and I'm buffing that out with kind of a, actually it's a really small pencil brush. So I'm just going to keep this pretty concentrated to my lashes. I don't want to make it too dramatic and then I'm popping a little bit more of our inner corner highlight onto that like bottom area of my lash line, that inner like one quarter of it. Then for my lower lash mascara, I'm using my Rimmel Lash, lash Accelerator Mascara. Oh my goodness, I'm keep getting tongue tied. Ugh. And then for lipstick today, I'm using my liquid lipstick from Lime Crime, and this is in Teddy Bear. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. It's very comfortable to wear throughout the day, and the staying power of these liquid lipsticks is ridiculous. And also, I like the fact that it doesn't get thick and clumpy as you use it. I hate the ones that get thick and clumpy after using it for a little bit. This one, so nice. It's so comfortable, and it's got the same formula now that it did when I first got it. So that is everything for this look guys. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like simpler like tutorials like this make sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see for fall and the upcoming season and yeah don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. All the names and links will be in the description box below as well as a list of all the products used in this video and yeah I will see you guys next time. Bye!